All right, here we are. It is the uh, Friday edition of the South Shore's Morning News, the final day with Lisa Zizian as my co-host after 11 yes, years. 11 years. Went by in a flash. It, it, it did, and this is kind of a treat this morning as uh, we've got a number of uh, surprise guests that have stopped in this morning. So I've got the microphone up here, and they're going to toss it around. Believe me, they, they will not have a loss for words. We've got... Pretty much all of the South Shore politicians, I think, all of them in studio this morning. State all Rep Josh house, Cutler. Yes. We do have all the house Good morning. in. Good morning. Hello, I have some friends Hi. here to join you and wish you well, Lisa. Josh, thank you. Great so, to see you. So, good morning, you. everybody here. I, I'm huh? Representative Josh Keller. I'm joined by all my colleagues here in the South Shore in the House, and I'll give everybody a chance to say hello yep. in a moment. We just wanted to come and thank you for 11 great years, putting smiles on our faces and sharing all the great news. So, I'm going to pass along to my colleagues for a quick hello. All right, there's State okay. Rep Josh Cutler, and now Kathy Lenatra, State Rep Lenatra. Hanover. Hanover, <laughs> Hanover alum here. Oh. I'm going to miss hearing you every morning, but I wish you the best and enjoy your summer with your little kitties. Can't wait. Thank you so much. Yeah, Dave the coast. Lisa staying here. The coast. Uh, well done uh, since we got back from the Gulf in the Army. Mm. They've been listening to you. Um, WATD is, is just does a super job, and you're a huge part of it. And we're going to miss you. Oh. And thank you for everything you did. There's and done. And good luck in the future. Thank you. State Rep uh, Allison Sullivan. Good morning, everyone. Allison Sullivan. Uh, thank you so much. WATD is not going to be the same without you. Enjoy the little ones. And, uh, <laughs> enjoy you. it. Well deserved. Thank you. Good morning, Lisa. Patrick Kearney. Patrick Kearney, I uh, wanted to thank you for your 11 years of uh, keeping us all informed every morning. And uh, myself and my colleagues wanted to come by and give you a citation from the House of Representatives and extend uh, best wishes and whatever you have in the future. Thank you so much. I am so touched. And you know this guy, we just hung out with him on Friday down at the Pilgrim Hall Museum. Oh, oh Kathy, too. Was, this was a lot of fun, our, our Plymouth folks. Matt Moratori. It really was, Lisa. We are going to miss you. I started 11 years back then, and you've been gracious and very sweet and very honest with, with listeners, and we really appreciate all that you've done. And we wish you the best with all your family and watch them grow up and just enjoy them. Thank you so much. I am I am speechless. This is quite the honor, and I um, I I loved being here. I mean, I grew up on the South Shore. My family is here. I'm raising my kids here, and it is just such a special place. And to know um, the people behind the the amazing work that, that you all do together, working together, is it just makes me so proud. So much more proud to be a part of the South Shore. Thank you. So much. Oh, I At least all of us are here. We wanted to officially actually give you a citation from the House of Representatives. Uh, so I'll read it here. Uh, be it hereby known to all that the Massachusetts House of Representatives office offers its sincerest congratulations to Lisa in recognition for her 11 fantastic years of co-hosting the South Shore Morning News, sharing stories, keeping us all informed, and putting a smile on our face. The entire membership extends its very best wishes and expresses the hope for future good fortune and continued success. Thank you. Yay! Yay. Woo. Thank you. So much fun. I can't believe all of you came in. This is so amazing. Is this so is great. Touched. Thank you. I know. This is the State House. They're all here. <laughs> There's no forum, don't worry. <laughs> There's no bell ringing? Not no bell ringing? Oh, that's good. We were worried about that. <laughs> Time to go. Yep, you guys are all familiar with the ATD forum. On the line, and now we're also having Bobby Albany in studio this morning. Lisa's mom, uh, Mrs. Azizi and I call her, and of course Lisa's two beautiful children are in studio this morning as well. That's uh, Evan, who is uh, now seven years old. Oh, and Layla. In the world. Layla, how are you? She is five. Oh my goodness! Hi guys, welcome. And uh, let's have your husband come over as well and see if he wants to say a few words. We heard from him earlier this morning, uh, kind of uh, back in time. We had a montage, uh, and this was great. And and who knows? I mean, I guess we can say um, 
you know, never say never. Maybe maybe Bobby will fill in again one time. You know, he had a lot of fun. We had some fun playing back some clips of you, Bobby, uh, uh, co-hosting in the morning. So uh, tell us about uh, this, uh, this moment and this special day. This is the beginning of a new era. Um, <laughs> exciting. Look, when I first chatted with this lovely lady, <laughs> our first phone date uh, many, many moons ago, what really intrigued me was she says, you know, I really, I know that you have a music background. I'm really interested in music too. Let me tell you how I'm kind of involved in media and music. Mm -hmm. So I guess this was sort of a good launching point for a lot of our conversations. Yeah, we kind yeah. Of owe you. Oh, uh, well, mm -hmm. you know, it's just fun. You guys have been just great. And I, I mean, I've known Lisa and then I got to know you, Bobby, and you know how I feel about both of you. And uh, now how I feel about uh, the rest of your family, mm -hmm. uh, which is just so exciting. And, and, and I know we were talking about, you know, what a tough year it's been with the pandemic right. and the economy. And certainly, you know, we've touched a little bit about your own story and your journey. And so both of you are kind of embarking on uh, new roles. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be uh, an exciting future ahead. And, and the way that things have kind of all worked out, you know, the signs were there that you got this job at this time. And, and Lisa, you were able to do this and, and the kids and, and get them ready to go back into, into a classroom again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um something very special there's just something about this time that makes a lot of sense it's been such a challenging year and it is difficult to say goodbye here it truly is difficult I, I never imagined that I would be part of this journey that we would really really grow together and grow the show as much as we did and <laughs> and it's been so fun talking yeah. to the listeners meeting the listeners partnering with our partners um, and I think that, you know, when I resigned, I said to Rob, I said, I have a once in a 10 year deal for you. Mm -hmm. I have a, uh, an opportunity once for in you a 10 year deal. To, to do something great with the show. And I mean mm -hmm. that you've taken this show so far and I just see the next chapter is going to be even better. Mm -hmm. I know it will. I, I won't be well, here in the microphone, but I'm cheering you on. To thank work. you. And that's what's great about Lisa. Has she not been everyone's cheerleader um, for so much? And she's always been there for everyone. So we're going to be your cheerleader today. Mm -hmm. And it's all about you, Lisa. And we're so excited to have time, more time with um, your family and your mom and your beautiful mom and your beautiful kids. And speaking of growth, they have continued to grow yes. over the years and they're getting so big and uh, Lego my ego. She's got a waffle or something yes. there. And uh, it's been great to see uh, Layla and Evan uh, grow and become uh, very bright, curious, uh, fun individuals. And we know that's, that's to you and, and to Bobby for making them the wonderful people that they are. So, Mom, you ready for a summer of us? Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. oh we're ready? Okay. This Get is going to be great. Plenty of fun <laughs> memories this summer. My hashtag for the summer is beach pool, beach pool. So <laughs> just 50% of that involves this lady here. <laughs> uh, I love it. Well, uh, let's smiling. see. Kids, are you excited for the summer? Are you guys excited, excited for the summer? For the summer, Layla? Yeah. Yeah? You, you guys want to say anything? <laughs> what are you excited about for the summer? Beach what do you... Beach pool. <laughs> Eating. What else? What would you like to anywhere? do this summer? What do you think you most want to do? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, there she goes. What about Evan? <laughs> Evan, come on over. Come on over, Evan. Uh, yeah. What do you want to do the, this summer? The eldest. Come on over here. You want to? You want to do anything fun this summer with me? And Layla? Yeah. Probably nanny. Daddy. What do you want to do this summer? You. <laughs> Is he excited too? Yes, he's currently, you know, doing a safety inspection of the studio. Oh, okay. So all, all right. Oh, oh, of course. Yeah, no, yeah. of course. No, thank you, Evan. <laughs> well, thank you uh, all for coming in today. This was this was another great surprise this oh, morning. What a treat, Mom. What's in that box? Oh. Oh, you know. Uh, <laughs> Is that something? Treats, ice that? cream cone, cupcakes, and ice I did what? Cupcakes. What? This, yes. And I yes. did drop them in the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> the ice cream cone cupcakes were such a big, it's when we were kids, oh. for the birthdays at school, you know, she was known for making cupcakes in ice cream cones. So, so cupcakes and an ice cream cone? Sports, that was your final sports report in the morning. Yes. Woohoo!
<laughs> All right, no. now, now we need the resumption. Uh, this is part two, okay. the conclusion of the cupcake story. We'll bring in Lisa's mom, yep. uh, Mary Azizian, so, uh, right. who's here to tell the story with the kids in the background. The story about the cupcakes is that it was the birthday day celebration at school tree. My mom would make the cupcakes for the whole class. You remember yeah. that when the whole yeah, class you got could, treats? Yeah, you could bring, you guys remember? Yeah, yes, Bobby, they used to allow birthday. kids to bring in sugar and Thank snacks. You. At one time. <laughs> and you could bring it in for every birthday. Totally. You could eat cupcakes all year long. And that was okay. Yeah, so this was her specialty. This is what she was doing. Yeah, for, and these, because these are not just cupcakes. No, they're no. ice cream cone cupcakes. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm going gonna, gonna to take a video, and I'll take some photos later on. So, um, so, so what year was it? We think it was third, third grade. Third grade, yeah. And I was at Cedar School. Oh, uh, Cedar. My birthday happened to be a very rainy day. <laughs> and Nanny was, or uh -oh. Mom was walking the cupcakes from the car yeah. to the school. And how, how many cupcakes were there at the time? What about like 40? Like two dozen at yeah, least. At yeah, at least. At least.